folks, welcome into another edition of SportsbookReview.com's Roundtable. We're talking NFL, but we're going to zero in on one specific guy, and that is Cam Newton still sitting out there as a free agent. We're wondering where he's going to go. going to bring in my panel, Gary Seegers, Teddy Sobranski, and Flash Watson to have some fun. Let's do a little bit of a background right now because we are gamblers. If we look at Cam Newton as a whole, MVP candidate, 2015, did get the MVP, led his team to a Super Bowl, but did lose. Missed 16 regular season starts over the past two years. Arm injuries in 2018. The Liz Frank injury in 2019. But how about this? Oh, he's old. He's beat up. He turns 31 years old in May. We're talking about quarterbacks out here making big money and saying they're going to play until they're 45 with Tom Brady. If we take a look at some betting odds where he might land, the Chargers actually sitting at the favorite right now at FanDuel at minus 150. Flash, I'm going to bring you in first here. Cam Newton. First of all, anything left in the tank for you? Would you want him on your team if you are a GM with an opening? No. Uh, I think he gets lost in traffic. I think that the closer we get to the draft than you say about the Chargers, I think the Chargers may well go for their quarterback. Um, no, I think he's 31 years old. Do you see him as a backup? There's the other one. And I don't see him as a backup. I don't think he's going to bring anything to an organization. So this is one of those where if, if an organization doesn't get their QB in the draft, then it may be you rebound on him and you obviously he's going to be desperado to get involved with an organization. But for me, I, I think he just gets lost in traffic and I see him without a club come August. Yep, Gary, down in SEC country, obviously down on the Plains, he was a major superstar champion at the University of Auburn. Before we get into actually team specifics here and where he might land, Gary, just want to ask you, when you watch Cam Newton, again, as I said, he's 30 years old, he'll turn 31 in May. Is he broken down? Do you see an option for him? If you're an NFL GM, do you say, you know what, I got an opening, I'm going to risk it, I'll take a shot on Cam Newton here? Well, exactly what Flash said I don't see him being a backup somewhere. He's going to go wherever he has the best opportunity to start, and that's an ego thing. That's his personality fits with the Chargers, as you know, you listed them as the favorite. Uh, it fits out there. I don't know that it fits everywhere. You have to have a coaching staff that is willing to trust him. And I'll look on the positive side of this. He may have been broken down, uh, but he's been off for basically a year. If you go and watch his recent workout videos, he looks like an absolute beast right now, and he is motivated. He knows that the Panthers absolutely quit on him, and that's fair. Uh, I would have done the same thing if I were the Panthers. If you're looking at a new coach and a new organization, a new, a new head, everything, obviously you want to just restart. You want to wipe the slate clean. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm a team that has an opening, I absolutely look at Cam Newton, but it has to be the right fit, somebody that trusts him, that understands that he can be uh, a leader in a locker room the way that he was with the Panthers. You know, his his players absolutely loved him. Uh, I would I would take a risk on him. Yeah, I think he's motivated this year. Teddy, motive. I'm so glad Gary brought this up because I want to talk to you on motivation as gamblers and what we watch. Because over the past and since he's been in the NFL, the guy that sometimes you can't get the read on. Do you get good cam when you bat on him, or you did get get bad cam? Because when he's engaged and ready to take control, he is a force on the football field. But how many times have you bet Cam Newton in the second quarter, Teddy, and he already had the white towel pulled up over his head and looked like he was checked out? Do we get a motivated Cam Newton that says, "All right, Caroline, you don't want me now." Watch me go out here over the next five years. I'm going to dominate, and I'll show you. Do we get that Cam Newton, Teddy, if you're the GM? Or do you say, you know what? I'm going to take a step back approach here. I don't know if I want to touch this guy. So I bet uh, I bet I had a season wins bet on the Panthers over the total last. I forget it was eight, eight and a half. Um, and part of the mentality for that bet is Cam Newton's super motivated this year after what happened last year. And then he played two games. He was awful, and he got benched. Since his Super Bowl season, Cam Newton has been no better than a replacement-level NFL quarterback. He's had double-digit interceptions every year. His completion percentage in the 50s every year. Uh, he hasn't – he's missed a lot of open receivers from a visual, from a pure – forget the stats. Watching Cam Newton the last couple years, he's not been an elite NFL quarterback. He's been okay. He's been replacement-level. So how many teams are there out there – that want to spend Cam Newton money on a replacement level quarterback. Look, I'm going through the teams. I'm like, he's not going here. He's not going there. He's not going there. He's not. I can't figure out where Cam Newton ends up. I don't. I mean, this is one of those deals where there is not a single natural fit where you say, 
Yeah, he's going to go here. And if I have a choice, if I have a choice between spending money right now on Jameis Winston versus Cam Newton, and that's the two former number one overall draft choices that are available right now, it's not even close. I'm going for Winston. I'm not going for Newton. I do not think Cam Newton has a starting job in the NFL this year coming out of camp. But as we all know, half the quarterbacks in the league will be hurt by week eight. Cam Newton will find a job somewhere. He'll probably be starting somewhere, and maybe he'll come in and be a monster. <laughs> but going into preseason, there's not a single natural fit for Cam Newton in the entire NFL. I'm not convinced he signs prior to training camp. Flash, we've talked already on previous videos about not getting a lot of information with the whole COVID virus going around where you can't bring guys in and check them out and make sure that they do get their appropriate, you know, doctor's clearances that they're able to pass and be healthy and play for a football team. So that's going to come into it. So maybe we see a delay on where Cam Newton goes. But if we take a look, Flash, FanDuel out of New Jersey showing the top five teams right now with betting odds, Flash, the Chargers minus 150, the Jaguars plus 470, the Dolphins also at plus 470, the Broncos at plus 600, and the Patriots at plus 650. One of the teams I thought might have been a decent fit for him, obviously the Chargers being minus 150 because you can lean on a really good defense. Cam Newton is a big name, and you're moving into a new stadium out there in L.A. You want to sort of separate yourself and try to get out in front of the Los Angeles Rams. But outside of that, I do agree. I think the Chargers at this point are the best pick. I actually would have liked him in Chicago, but sometimes flash, I don't know what I'm getting out of him. Am I getting 2015 or am I getting 2017 or getting the guy that has a bad dead arm and sort of can't run him as much? because of all the injuries that he sustained over the past few years. Flash, where do you think he's going? I don't think he's going to go anywhere. I think that, mm. I've, honestly, I've got neck ache from nodding about everything that Teddy said. I think that we will see him maybe mid-season because someone has obviously dropped out and they need to bring a free agent in. I think that the problem with Cam Newton was that after they got to the Super Bowl, he tried to do too much. I think someone should have reined him in and gone, simplicity is genius, keep trying to do what you've been doing, and yet, no, he wanted it all about Cam Newton for me. And people say, oh, yeah, they all loved him. They loved him because they remembered what he'd done, not what he was doing. So for me, I, I, listen, I think that the Chargers, all of them teams you said, apart from the Broncos, they're desperado for, um, for a QB. I, I would go for a younger one. Or, listen, Teddy said about Jameis Winston, I've gone on every single video and said, I would have had Jameis Winston over Tom Brady. So, for me, if you are looking and you want to pay big money, go and get Jameis Winston and don't even think about Cam. Now, Gary, if we're taking a look at Cam Newton here, and let's just say the market dries up and Tyrod Taylor stays with the Chargers, that's the direction they're going to go. If you're Cam Newton yourself, you know, maybe the starting options aren't out there. The big money isn't out there because it does say a lot where you're in Carolina, you get cut loose. Your old coach, Ron Rivera, who's had you his entire career, is in Washington. They probably don't want you there. Do you maybe take a step back and say, let me really get fully healed? Because we're talking about timelines in the NFL where quarterbacks are playing well into their late 30s and early 40s at this point. So theoretically, he still does have a time range in the NFL that he can stay. Is this one where you say, hey, maybe – can I knock on the door of Andy Reid? Can I knock on the door of maybe a Doug Peterson in Philadelphia and say, let me rehab my image in here and let me learn a new offense. Let me get healthy and show what I can do. And if somebody goes down, I got that NFL experience. I've been an, an MVP. I've been to the Super Bowl. Is that possible if you're Cam Newton to accept a backup role when you're used to being the starter? And I will say this. I would sounded like the only one with any positivity about Cam Newton. Now, that was all based on what an organization actually wants to do, uh, and whether or not Cam wanted to be a starter. Now, if he wants to take a backup role, and I think that it is totally possible, uh, you got to look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know that Ben Roethlisberger, at, as many of the reports that are coming out, as they are, he's great, he's healthy, he feels better than he has in years. Their quarterback situation last year was complete garbage when Roethlisberger went down. Cam is built very much the same as Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, that would be a fantastic spot for him because if Big Ben goes down in week 8, 9, 10, you bring in somebody that's got the experience, you can get back to the playoffs with that and maybe be able to win. However, uh, talking about Cam and whether or not he would do that, you know, we'll see. I don't think at first he would do that, but if you, like Flash was saying, you sign on with the team later on, you know, absolutely. I, I think it's possible week three, week four, uh, but it all depends on his agent and his mentality and, and what he really wants to do. I think he'll look for a starting job. Uh, I don't think he's going to find one necessarily unless there is a team, a.k.a. the Chargers, 
that need to make a splash with a big name. And that's I believe that's the only way that that happens. Cam Newton at FanDuel here in New Jersey, Gary, listed at 20-1 to 1 for the Game 1, obviously being Cam Newton's first team, being the Pittsburgh Steelers. Teddy, from a gambling perspective in this one, we see the Chargers well out there as a favorite at minus 150, but there's a lot of teams stacked up between, you know, 6-1 to 1 and 20-1 to 1 that you might take a flyer on, getting information like that and say, hey, you know what, if you do take the Chargers, you're laying a heavy price, but we really don't know where he's going here. Is there any value in the other teams, and what teams, Teddy, do you think might present actual value? you here for Cam Newton if you would lay a wager on it? Excellent question, Donnie, because you go through the teams that actually, that people are saying needs a quarterback, okay? It was like the Dolphins need a quarterback, all right? The Dolphins, A, signed, re-signed Ryan Fitzpatrick, who was pretty good for them last year, and B, are likely to be drafting. So the Dolphins aren't picking up a free agent here. It's not happening, all right? You say uh, Jacksonville's a team that keeps on coming out. Oh, the Jags, all that. From all indications, the Jags are going to go with Gardner Minshew you know, as the low-cost option. Because let's not forget how much Cam Newton is going to cost. Cam Newton's not going to come on a one-year, $2 million deal, <laughs> you know. Um, so I really, I mean, I, I really don't see Jacksonville being that team unless they get into August, Minshew comes out and looks terrible, and they're like, we got to do something desperate. The Chargers, another team that are, uh, keep on, everyone's saying, the Chargers, the Chargers. Every quote out of L.A. is Tyrod Taylor's our guy. We're going with Tyrod Taylor. We believe in Tyrod Taylor. We're convinced that Tyrod – I mean, I haven't even seen one semi-non-Tyrod Taylor quote to say maybe. So I don't want the Chargers. <laughs> so you have to find teams that aren't the Chargers, that aren't the Jaguars, that aren't the Dolphins. How many teams are there like that? You know, it's who, whatever quarterback gets hurt in training camp, that's where Cam Newton's going to go. Uh, and uh, that's not, not something I'm going to bet on, what quarterback's going to hurt. You know, does Aaron Rodgers get hurt? Sure, he ends up in Green Bay. If Matthew Stafford gets hurt, sure, he ends up in Detroit. You know, uh, if Teddy Bridgewater gets hurt, maybe he ends up back in Carolina, you know. But that's where <laughs> I see Cam Newton. I don't see any natural landing spot for him right now in the current uh, scheme of things value on Cam Newton and where he goes and all that and more. Make sure you check out sportsbookreview.com. We'll be talking a lot of Cam Newton right up to opening day in the NFL. Make sure you check out sbrodds.com for all the latest line movements and much, much more. Hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel for Gary, Teddy, and Flash. I'm Donnie. Thanks for checking us out on another video at sportsbookreview.com.